You've seen your dermatologist, but has your dermatologist seen you? I'm Dr. John LaPook, medical correspondent for the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, and welcome to cbsdoc.com. I'm here in the offices of Dr. Francesca Fusco, who's a wonderful dermatologist, and our producer, our very own producer, Jessica Goldman, who today is going to be our patient and help Dr. Fusco teach all of us what you have to know about your skin. We're going to start the skin exam. And while I'm looking at you, I'll ask you questions, and I'll even teach you a little bit about what you need to know when looking at your skin so you could do some self-surveillance on your own, okay? So sometimes people are surprised when I start looking at their feet because they think, gee, my feet aren't out in the sun very much, especially in between the toes. But you can get a skin cancer in between your toes or even on your nail bed. I see you're wearing nail polish. Should they remove that polish before yes. they come to the skin yes, doctor? They so should. it's easier for you to look yes, at. Yes. So definitely. there's a tip that people might not know. This instrument that I'm holding in my hand is a magnifying glass. My eyes are great, but it couldn't hurt to have a little bit of extra help. At least once a month when you're in the shower or maybe when you're putting on moisturizer, do you see how I'm rubbing and feeling here? not just to make you feel good, but so that you would know if there's any lumps or bumps under or on the skin, right. okay? Right. What I'm seeing as I'm looking at your legs is not a lot of marks. I'm seeing these little brown spots. Some people call them moles. Some people call them beauty marks. But what I'm loving here is that they're all small. What do I mean by small? They're less than six millimeters in diameter, which is about the size of an eraser on the end of a pencil. They look very much like they're even colored, they're symmetrical. If I was to draw a line through one of them, one side would mirror image the other. And they're pretty much one color. You have pigment in your eyes as well. And so your ophthalmologist should be checking your eyes at least once every two years. The calves are a predilection site for melanoma in women. Mm -hmm. We do tell women to make sure to remember to turn around and look at the back of their mm -hmm. legs. Okay, so what I want you to do is untie the front and let's bring the hair around to the front and we're gonna check your back. And I'm getting an instrument that's called a dermoscope. And for me, it just looks like a plain old regular mole and I'm going to go through your scalp because yes, you can get a skin cancer on your scalp. Here's another possible tip, right? Should women ask their hair person to look through their hair for any skin changes? Yes, okay. Mouth, you see your dentist on a yearly basis? Your dentist or the hygienist should be examining your mouth and when they're examining you, they should be grasping your tongue with a gauze pad and mm -hmm. moving it from one side to another. Mm -hmm. Okay, stick your tongue out, okay, up. Good. Can I look at your mm -hmm. chest now? Okay. And then, you know, John, when I'm examining like this, I like to remind people and say, so have you had your mammogram done? Right. And I'll say, you know, if they're of an age or if there's a history, have you had your colonoscopy done? And I like to remind people. And I want to add with my camera in my hand that it's pure magical thinking to think that just because you've been to a dermatologist for, say, cosmetic reasons, that somehow you've been screened for melanoma. Unless you've taken all your clothes off, and the dermatologist has looked at every millimeter of your body, you have not been adequately screened for skin cancer. While you were out of the room, I was examining uh, Jessica's genitals to look to see if there were any freckles or growths there. And then I examined the skin around the perirectal area because skin cancer can occur there too. Skin cancers, melanoma especially, can be deadly, but if diagnosed and treated at an early phase, has a very good prognosis.